this is Dr. Simoncini coming to you live from Southeast Valley Urology. Uh, we're going to talk about overactive bladder today. Overactive bladder is an extremely common problem amongst men and women, but probably more so with women um, and how we treat that. Well, behavioral modification is probably the first thing you can do on your own. And how do you do that? Well, avoiding bladder irritants such as caffeine, carbonated beverages, alcohol, cranberry juice even, all those things irritate your bladder and make you have to go more frequently and sometimes urgently as well. Overactive bladder is basically a sudden urge to have to urinate and you have to usually go frequently. Sometimes you're getting up at night. Sometimes you have such bad urgency you can't get to the restroom in time. So behavioral modification, one way again, like we just talked about, is avoiding bladder irritants. Another way, what they say is avoiding the amount of fluid you're drinking, which sounds counterproductive and it probably is. And again, it's one of those things in urology, I always say it works on the ivory towers of medicine in a textbook, doesn't make good sense in the general population. So if behavioral modification isn't working, the mainstay of therapy for overactive bladder is generally medical therapy. Medicines that relax the bladder, there's anticholinergic medicines, there's also beta agonists. Um, these tend to work, and they say quote unquote work, for about 80% of patients, and what that means is they have some response. It does work fairly well, however, though, in relaxing the bladder and letting you have time to get to the restroom in time cuts down on the frequency many times. Sometimes that is not um, feasible or does not work well enough for patients. Another thing that works very well is injecting Botox into the bladder muscle and that just relaxes the bladder muscle. Um, an injection of Botox generally will last between three and six months. It can last longer. What's nice about Botox, it's a one-time treatment. We do it in the office at Southeast Valley Urology. I do have anesthesia come in and relax you a little bit so you don't really feel anything we're doing. We inject the Botox. Uh, if your insurance covers it, that eliminates all your co-pays for med medical therapy, etc., probably for the next six months or so. Relaxes your bladder, gives you more time to get to the restroom in time. I think it works much better than medical therapy. Lastly, we have nerve stimulators that regulate the nerve impulses to the bladder called interstim. These do work, although I'm not a huge fan. Um, the reason I'm not a huge fan is many patients develop what's called tachyphylaxis. Tachyphylaxis means the nerve that we're stimulating gets used to the impulses and some of the symptoms of overactive bladder, frequency, urgency, urgency, and continence tend to come back over time. So to me, it's somewhat of a lot to go through. Um, I think the Botox actually works better, although we have to repeat it, it's simple to repeat. Um, medical therapy, again, is the mainstay of therapy for this. Um, very common problem. It does significantly interfere with people's quality of life. Uh, some people have to wear diapers, people are running to the restroom in the middle of the night. Elderly patients, that's for the number one cause of accidents, as meaning falling, breaking a hip, getting a head injury, things like that. So those are the things, although we want to improve the quality of life with the urination, we want to avoid a bigger problem, such as a broken hip or a head injury, which has a significant, um, significantly higher morbidity associated with it. So overactive bladder, very serious problem, interferes with people's quality of life, fairly easily treatable. Come in and see us. Thank you.